Crystal, and I own a company called Space to Love. It's an organizing and decorating company. And today I'm going to show you how to organize and decorate a bookshelf. This bookshelf here. You know what you see in the magazines? They have these bookshelves, all the books are together with their bookends, uh, they have their tchotchkes, it looks really great. I'm gonna help you recreate that look today. So the first step we wanna do is declutter. And the best way to do that is start taking everything off the shelves and putting them into different piles. And with the books, especially, you want to put like books with like books. So we'll have a fiction pile. Um, we'll see what categories that we have here. We have uh, sort of life-changing things, feng shui, things like that. We'll put that in a separate pile. We have some other learn Italian, Marilyn Monroe. All of these we're going to start to put into categories. Once we get these into piles, then we can start going through these books and seeing which ones that you actually want to keep. Um, a lot of these books, um, the clients said they already read, so they don't plan on rereading them, so they said they'll probably want to let these go. So a lot of those we can donate. And then other books with the Qigong, they said it's something that they really don't practice anymore, and they're willing to let this go as well. We're going to go through that with all the books and see what books they want to keep. For you, the questions you want to ask yourself is, how long have you had the book? Have you had it for a year, two years? Do you plan on rereading it or even reading it? Uh, a lot of times we pick up books at a bookstore and then we realize a couple of years down the road it doesn't serve us anymore or we're not really interested in that subject anymore. So as you start going through these, you can see that a lot of these you might want to let go. Okay, so we are about halfway through. We took all the books off the shelves. Um, we put them into the light piles, like I was saying. Then I had the client go through them and decide what books they wanted to keep and what they wanted to donate. So we have our keep pile in the front and our donate pile in the back. And now we have a few other things that are left on the bookshelf that don't belong. They just, um, you know, like these go in the media area. This is all their office stuff that'll go in their office. And then we just have a few things out, like these, this one I, they said, doesn't serve them anymore, he's going to get donated. So we'll put him in the donate pile, as well as I think these few things up here as well, they said they wanted to get rid of. And see, now we're really starting to slim things down. Okay, so here we are at the end, we are finished. And we have our bookshelf again, keeping all the books, the like books with like books. And so these are all their wine books, so I kind of kept those up there with their bar stuff. And um, also, you know, just talking about the design with the bookshelves, I think adding any kind of earth elements are really great. This chunk of amethyst, getting these bookends, which are agate, which look beautiful, um, adding candles, plants, diffusers, things like that just really bring a nice design element to it. And then keeping the books on the side like this, and then straight up like this with the bookends, just gives it a little bit of a dimension. Well, I hope you found this helpful and inspiring. If you like what you see, please follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, you can also subscribe to my channel. You'll find all that information on my website, spacetolove.com. My name is Crystal, and thanks for watching.